All right, Brent Porcio at topvelocity.net. If you haven't already, watch the videos I did on drive leg pitching science and the front leg pitching science. This is gonna go more in depth into a study that just recently came out on drive leg propulsion, showing that the propulsion forces created from the drive leg to build the stride have a direct correlation with the forces hitting the front leg. That's important because studies show the forces hitting the front leg have a direct correlation to the ball velocity. So you're really not going to be able to build all those great forces when you hit front foot strike to get up into the ball without having a good understanding of drive leg propulsion. So I want to go over drive leg propulsion. First off, we have to be explosive and powerful. We're sitting on one leg. So we're not sitting on two legs. We're sitting on one leg moving multi-planar. We're going to be moving in all different directions. So when you build and develop power, it needs to be not just vertical. It needs to be able to go lateral and it needs to be able to go forward sagittal. But once you, as you're building that power, and like with the 3X programs, we're doing that in the process of developing the biomechanics. When we go to train and develop and make sure we can move this power through the delivery, we have to make sure we understand it in, in, in all of its components. So in drive leg propulsion, simply if we just break it down, we need to be able to extend and drive forward, right? We need to create a more linear propulsion or be able to create a linear propulsion, right? So that would be like starting with our feet straight, just being able to drive with our feet straight. A lot of guys get locked up in the hips or lose power in that movement and, and, and it doesn't convert as well. So we have to make sure that we have the ability to move and drive forward. Then we gotta make sure we can rotate. So we gotta make sure as we move forward, we can turn and spin into this femur that helps rotate the pelvis, sequence the angular movement. So there needs to be an ability to move the femur into rotation like this, right here, right? Okay, so in those two simple components of the drive leg propulsion, we have the back leg extension and we have the back leg rotation, right? Okay, but they're not used simply in those ways. They need to be combined together and that's the ultimate goal here, what we do with 3X pitching is trying to get the linear drive with the rotational movement. So that's when you put it together. So that would be as you come out of your leg lift, you delay rotation, what we talk about holding torsion, so you can build more lateral energy right now. And then when we open front foot, rotation's gonna come into the movement, and then we're gonna accelerate even through extension while we're rotating and get that sagittal drive with rotation in the front foot strike. So you go from the linear drive to the rotational movement and you put it together. So that's both of them in combination. I'm driving lateral, lateral to linear and the rotation is what's moving me from lateral to linear or to a more sagittal position. So it's very complicated, I know it sounds complicated, but in the 3X programs that's why we teach you how to first generate the linear power and linear sequencing, how to then create rotational power, rotational sequencing, and then how to really do them together optimally, which is going to give you the optimal ground force energy we need to maximize healthy high velocity pitching.